painting now. So the key with painting is staying in a sequence that makes it the most feasible and easy to do. And that really comes down to what kind of paint you're gonna be doing. In this case, it's more of remodel painting, but in most scenarios, this sequence works the best and I'll explain what that is. So um, as we got in, we're, kind of, we're trying to do room by room because we're still living here, like I said, but the key is moving things around in a sequence where you're not constantly cleaning brushes, rollers, uh, trays, all that stuff. So you want to kind of do a sequence, no matter what type of painting you're doing, that helps not only with taping and prepping, but also cleanup as well. Um, and then keeping, you know, certain paints moving in a certain direction. So you want to start with ceilings when you're painting. You want to roll the ceilings all the way out to the edges. Right, and take your roller and you want to go ahead and hit the wall with your roller. So the less cut in you have, the better. Okay, that's the key. So you want to roll it all the way out. This is actually our finished wall here and our finished ceiling. So you can see what the new color is going to be. So you roll that all the way out. And then you come back with a thin little line of cut in on the ceiling, okay? You don't have to worry about taping the walls off because you'll be painting those next. The second step is going to be painting the walls. And there's a key on both ceilings and walls as far as running your paint. If you've got a 14 inch roller, that's usually the fastest and best to get the most coverage on your surface area. So you want to keep that in mind as you're doing both. And the sequence again is going from ceilings to walls. And then once the walls are in, if you have this luxury, which we do, we're doing new trim, okay? So I did actually put some of the casing back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and come back in with base trim after all the walls are rolled. Again, that's so we can actually roll down. We have the floors covered, we can roll down as far as we can without having to tape off all of the trim. And then come back in with the trim, paint that separate. So all we're doing is basically taping a small section of the wall off in order to do the trim. And the same thing goes with the casing and the doors. Um, We've rolled a couple doors, but we're like, with the rest of them, we're actually gonna take them off and take them out in the garage and spray them because that's the fastest and best way to do it. Um, I'll explain how to prep trim um, after we get all of these other <laughs> steps done, but I'll show you how to roll because there's actually a, a process with, with actually rolling as well, which makes it the most feasible, you get the best coverage, um, and you, you can use the most economical amount of paint as well. So keeping that in mind, I will come out here and show you, make sure I don't step on anything. Kind of the progress as we're going. So this room in particular, we're now rolling the ceilings. And you can see all of the roll marks on the walls. That's taking the roller all the way out to the edge. So we have a small little cut in at the edge to finish. And then we can come back, we'll tape about two inches back on the, on the ceiling to protect the ceiling now that it's painted so we can roll our walls. And rolling's gonna be in a sequence, which we'll show in a little bit, but just like with anything else, we wanna start in the middle of a surface area and work your way out to the edges, right? In a V-like fashion, down and away, up and away. And you're rolling out to get the best coverage. That's really important, and I'll show how that works in a minute, but that's kind of the, the key to this whole painting. It's not rocket science, but that's really what you wanna kind of focus on as you're painting. So first ceilings, then walls, then you can come back and cut, uh, trim everything else out as far as coverage and do your, your mill work. Um, and then you're finished, you got a little bit of touch up. Um, this is gonna take two coats as it appears on the walls. Ceilings are going on really nice. And we're going from like an uh, antique white to a pure white on the ceilings and the trim. Um, so some areas require a little more coverage, but uh, in every room in this house is different. <laughs> as far as the walls go. Anyway, um, I'll show you that, that proper technique for rolling ceilings and walls here in a minute. Yeah. 